Yo, what's going on guys? So with the recent sudden announcement of the Winter Royale tournament, and when I say sudden, I mean who announces a tournament two weeks before it happens? Maybe I'm just missing something, but that's pretty sudden. But along with this tournament being announced, I decided that I wanted to compete in this tournament. I looked at the prize pool and saw that you only had to come in 250th place to receive prize earnings, and that just made me so so excited and I was like man I could really do this so the first step was getting a duo partner and I ended up being partnered with one of my best friends Aiden aka wiggly fob which you guys have definitely seen him on the channel over the past year and if you're even OG enough you probably saw him in my YouTube streams back when I used to stream PUBG. we really wanted to go into this tournament with the mindset of improving and becoming better players and actually getting into competitive prior to this the only time wiggly and i have ever played competitive was back in season nine and the game literally got ruined because there was 20 people and ballers killing us while we were trying to rotate the circle I really do have ptsd from that and i really wanted to make this series just because hey road to pro i haven't seen anybody do that and it's gonna be definitely great looking back on this when we win the duo world cup during next summer so first off i'd just really like to say i was really stupid i I completely forgot to even clip the zero point game but the, our first two games of being in division one we won them both but since i don't have that gameplay i will show you the earliest gameplay that i do have from being at 1400 points in i think division three and it was actually pretty funny what happened we ended up finding our drop spot our first game of arena we actually played this season and we've been dropping there ever since and we are now in champ so basically what we were trying to do in these first games was play for placement because playing smart wasn't something Aiden and I have really done before. We've always been people who've just been severely aggressive. So here's the first engagement we had at top 13 people left and here's how it played out. I just have a rocket launcher. They're on me? Alright, alright, alright. behind. He has no shield. Oh, I missed. Oh, I'm Dude. sorry, that was that was me. Dropped him for health though. He's like all the way down. I'm loading my rocket. Where you want me to put it? Seventy, yeah. As you can see, the fight went pretty well because we won the fight. But there was definitely several different things that could have definitely gone better. First of all is communication and being near each other. If Aiden was near me, that fight would have been smoother, but he was a little bit farther behind me at the beginning of this fight, which kind of slowed down the fight a lot and could have potentially been the reason why I could have died. And something I should have done is definitely should have boxed up and built there and waited for Aiden to get close to me what i ended up doing though was i pushed those guys like it was a pub map which in the winter royale you won't really be able to do stuff like that alone because what end up will happen well you will get killed and then your duo will have to 1v2 and most likely get killed as well which at the end of the day will not be winning you prize money in terms of communication there is definitely a lot to be improved upon but we have definitely come a long way from being at here to already being in champions now almost immediately after that engagement we get into a second one and not only did we get into a second engagement but much better players than the last two on top of this hill bro got guys a real game Oh my god. How are you doing? Uh, I need help. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I got one of them off of you. Oh, the other one dropped down. Oh yeah, he's dropping. 
What? So what happened here was just same problem, different time. I ended up rushing this team alone. What happened was I ended up fighting two of them and they pressured me a lot and I ended up taking a ton of damage. Also, not to mention my play where I killed that Skull Ranger was not the best idea to do, but I did end up killing him, which is good. At least I did that, but it really just wasn't good how this fight started. And then you're probably wondering how Aiden died. Aiden actually died because he bounced off one of his builds and fell all the way off of them, which at the time was absolutely hilarious. We both thought it was funny, but overall, this fight should have turned into a box fight and not a full fledged build fight, which this build fight really did end up affecting the rest of the game. Now let's get into the next fight. Think about going. Oh, you should have got the crouching one. Oh, he's waiting. He does. You got flowers for it, so don't be afraid to take that storm down. Good shit, that was a triple trap. I have those bots running it, hitting in behind you, so you have no mats. You gotta stay up there. Nice. Can you use mats? We got floppers for days. He didn't have any mats. There's two left. Right through some of these kids. Nice. I'm a god. I would just like to say that. So that first kill was actually really good and I got out of that situation really fast because the circle was approaching in a few seconds. So I didn't want to get caught up fighting the duo behind him and that's the reason why I left that fight. Now this whole period after that though of all the building, I really didn't need to build as much as I did because nobody was shooting me and the reason why I pulled off the Thwaifo cone at that one part was because I thought there was still a whole layer above me and then I realized there wasn't. If I didn't waste so many mats i would have had 300 mats by the time i started fighting the other people and which would have been way better than i got to fighting those other people and only had 30 mats and not only that i shouldn't have been shooting at those people when i only had 30 mats because if i got shot back what could i do i would just tank that damage and then not be able to get that health back in a reasonable amount of time so something i do have to work on is timing when i should shoot at people and shouldn't because what i did end up doing is shooting at those people not hitting a single shot uh i could have possibly gotten shot back and then died but luckily i did win that game with a little you know pro pro gamer skill okay i all, all pro gamer skill right there and it was a good dub but anyways guys if you did enjoy the video make sure to leave a like subscribe and turn on notifications i'm definitely going to be making more of these videos because i actually really freaking enjoyed making this video and the next one is definitely going to be higher quality because now i have more of an idea of how i'm gonna edit the video after the video now being fully edited by the time you're getting to this point it's really confusing i'm just gonna shut up but thank you guys so much for watching watching and i'll see you in the next one peace dude this man is just ramping out to nowhere <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he low-key gave me the ball and cock torture that guy doesn't know what to do. Definitely a PS4 player right now. Stop, oh, pussy. Wow, you just fucked him up. Wow, this guy's trash. Whoa. Oh, oh, Team Burger? Oh, yeah, you guys want. Yes, I